My name is Dr. Todd Lee, and I'm here with MindAndMuscle.com. I'm here to talk to you today about agmatine sulfate. Now, I'm a medical doctor, an IFBB North American 2012 lightweight bodybuilding champion. Now, agmatine sulfate is a very confusing product. You've probably noticed that they're putting agmatine sulfate in every pre-workout under the sun. You're probably wondering why. You're probably assuming it's better than arginine, it's better than citrulline, that's why they're using it. It's different. It doesn't work the same at all. So let's talk about nitric oxide for a moment. Nitric oxide is something that dilates the blood vessels and helps blood get to the muscle, in theory. And that it is an enzyme called nitric oxide synthase. It synthesizes nitric oxide from arginine. So it cleaves off the nitric oxide off the arginine. That's the theory. And it will dilate the blood vessels. Citrulline is a little bit more confusing. We don't need to deal with that. What agmatine sulfate does is it upregulates and deregulates nitric oxide synthase. So people are wondering, well, what's the point of it if it does it turns it up and turns it down? There's different nitric oxide synthases, and they're in different parts of your body. That's what's not well understood. So in the brain, it deactivates it, shutting down the vessels in the brain. It works in the heart because it has something to do with the immune system, deactivates it over there. But then it activates the blood vessels in the capillaries. The capillaries go through all types of tissue, but specifically your muscle bellies. So in other words, if you're constricting it over here and opening it over there, the blood flow is going to go over here. So the point of the agmatine sulfate is that if you take it in the morning on an empty stomach, maybe two and a half grams, after two weeks, the enzymes in the capillaries in the muscle bellies will be more primed to make nitric oxide from arginine. So when you have your pre-workout with arginine or alpha-ketoglutarate or citrulline malate, then you'll get a bigger pump. Some people say that with agmatine sulfate, you'll have a pump all day, but there's no reason not to throw arginine on top of the fire anyway. I mean, a fire is going to burn brighter with gasoline, no matter how bright that fire was burning before. So the ultimate approach is to do 2.5 grams of agmatine sulfate first thing in the morning and empty, and then take your arginine about 15 minutes before, and you'll get the most skin tearing pumps possible. Um, thank you. This is Todd Lee, MD, with MindAndMuscle.com. Have a wonderful day.